Hi guys, this is Alison Pryor. Today we're going to paint a daisy. And these are some daisies that I already did. You can see they're in different colors, so you can have any colors you want. Um, today we're just going to do a little white one. And uh, first of all, all you have to do is paint your canvas. That's only an eight and a half by 11 canvas that I have there. And all you have to do is paint it a really dark color in the background. And then you get a piece of chalk and get a piece of chalk and just draw a little circle just so we can plan out our little daisy just a little circle with some chalk and then you can take a little line right here and then another little line over here or a little dot or anything at all just to get get an idea of where you want to be with your daisy so now what we can do is we can take all I have on my palette today is some white and some sap green and some burnt umber and some yellow, uh, cad yellow. So first of all, we can take our brown and let's take a brush. Let's say we'll use this little scruffy brush and it's a bristle brush and we'll use that to tap in the center there for now. So let's get a bit of brown on, on our one side of the brush a little bit of brown just tap into a bit of brown and tap into a bit of yellow flip it over and put a bit of yellow on the other side sorry so yellow and brown just flip it both sides left to the left and to the right and now we're going to take that little brush and we are going to tap in the center here to get the center done so we'll just get that center done. We can add more yellow if it's not yellow enough. Okay, so just because we're gonna we're gonna highlight that again after. So there we go. So we got some tap on some yellow and brown, and we'll just leave that for now. And then we will take our flat chiseled brush. It's chiseled, it's sable or synthetic. And it's not a very big brush because that's only an eight and a half by 11 canvas. So what I'm going to do is to make our petals, I'm just going to put some white on one side of my brush and leave the other side a little bit. I'm just talking the, the we'll say heel toe. That's the heel and that's the toe. See how I left it empty? So I'm just going to take a bit of green so just mix a bit of your green on the edge just so we can get a bit of shadow. So white and green, just mix it together a little bit. Don't have to worry about it being um, so more white on the on one side of the brush. So now you're just going to take um, your brush and you're going to put the chiseled edge on the canvas and you're going to touch and pull in and lift touch and pull in and lift now we need more paint as you can see so just tap into uh, put some white on the left side of your brush and green on the other and then mix it all together and so let's do that again so touch and pull in and lift good so you reload every time you need to okay touch pull in and lift touch pull in and lift touch, pull in, and lift. So that's a good start. Pick up more white, and throw a bit of green in there, and we'll do in between. So that'll make it a bit easier for you. So let's touch, pull in, and lift. 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 So now we're getting there. Some more white and green. This will give your shadows. Now in between those, touch, pull, and lift. It gets easier as you get more on there because then you can just put them in there. As long as you touch, pull, and lift, you will be fine. Touch, pull, and lift. Touch, pull, and lift. White, a bit of green. Touch. Pull and lift, touch, pull and lift. So just keep doing that until you get as many petals as you want. It's pretty simple. So let's go in between those. Just pull in, 
touch, pull and lift, touch, pull and lift, touch, pull and lift. Okay, good. So what we need now is some more white paint. So, get some more white paint. So you keep practicing that. And I'll get this here for you. Okay, so now more white paint. And then, put your white on your brush. See? And then just that bit of green that I have there, I'm just using that for a shadow. But lots of white, lots of white, so you can get that on there. Touch, pull, and lift. There we go. And so you go in between the ones you already did, and that will help you make it much easier for you. Touch, pull, and lift. Perfect. Let's keep going. There we go. So the the green will give it some shadow. I'm just going in between the ones I did. Now it's starting to come together. Good. So I'm just going to go in, keep going in between the ones I already did. That way they will overlap. See? Lots of paint. Lots of paint. If you want some skinny ones, just lift up on the brush. Don't push as hard, that's all. All right, we're doing good. So keep adding those. Paint, a little bit of green. Touch, push, lift. Right in between everything. I find you have to have lots of paint on your brush. Good. So you can have as many as you want. Depends on how layered you would like to have those. Good. So I'm just putting them wherever I want them. I'm just touching and pulling in. There we go. Starting to come together really nice. And the ones in the background are actually looking nice because they're, they're darker. But if you want to lighten them up a little bit, just go back over them again. Just add some more to lightness to it. And you can make, don't push as hard this time. That way you'll get to keep some of the shadows. So there we go. There we go. Just make sure if you want skinny petals, don't push as hard. And if you want fatter petals, you push harder. So there we go. Pretty simple. So now we want to clean up the inside of the there. And so we will take our scruffy brush again. And we will add brown to one side of our brush and then some yellow to the other side. Now we need brighter yellow than that. So I'm going to put some a brighter yellow on there so that it will really brighten up. I just used a nice um, cad yellow light. And then you just tap on your center. And you get a really nice center. And go round and round and round she goes. Yep. Good. You can pull up some of the shadows in into the petals. Just pull them out a little bit. Just make sure you take your time. Just take a little bit of a shadow going into your petals. There we go. And we'll tap around here. Get some more brown, darken up the edges so you can have a bit of fun. And what you can do now is take a nice uh, liner brush, just a skinny brush like this, and take some sap green and then go around the edges here. Just to finish it off and give it some shadow. Some sap green. And that will give it a nice edge to it. Just go around and around and around she goes. 
There we go. Pull it out into your leaves. Pull it out, 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 up, and up. And that's all you really have to do is get those shadows into the le into the petals from the inside, and that gives it nice shadows in the, on the insides of those petals, and it separates them. So just pull them out into the petals, come up a little bit. There we go. Pretty simple. Now you can do this, there's so many different ways to do daisies. Lots of different ways. So you check out all the videos that are on YouTube and you know just get all these different ways of doing different flowers and daisies. You might like you might like to do it a different way. You might want to do it different ways. So I'm just going to take a bit of yellow on the edge of this brush and I'm just going to tap that on top of these. Just tap on some little yellow petals. Just like that. Now my paint is still wet. You might want to wait for it to dry before you do this so it won't blend completely in with it. There we go. I'll give you some nice little petals on the on the inside. Good. You can put them wherever you want. You can study some daisies to see what they look like, and where these will go nice. So it's pretty simple. A little bit of fun. I didn't uh, want to get too complicated. I just wanted to have a bit of fun. So you guys go ahead and try that daisy. There's lots more you can do with it, but I just thought I would uh, get you started on that. And um, so you can also have a look at these. Take a picture of it if you want to do different colors. Just add different colors to your... Just add different colors. And you can also got some leaves here. Some leaves. You also have some little flowers up here. So you can add different things to your painting to add some fun to it. So that's it for now and I will do another painting um, in another time. So I'll see you in the next video. Happy painting!